Previously on Oxventure Presents Blades in the Dark, Casimir outlined a bold plan to steal a bracer of Thogroth from out of the Dimmer Sisters' vault. In a bid to overwhelm the Dimmer Mansion defenses, Casimir tries to enlist the help of the Gutcutters, a gang of deadly urchins operating out of Volusport's old train yard. Bug, the leader of the Gutcutters, agrees, but only if Casimir and Lilith destroy a new train station being constructed across town. The place is crawling with guards. How will our daring criminals pull this one off? Let's find out. Okay, so we're in the train yard. Casimir is heading off to investigate the things that explode. Lilith, you are mulling over options concerning ghosts because I believe it was mentioned that the plan is to try and curse this place. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, um, Mumbles is sort of stood with you still, Lilith, and looks up and says, what should I do? I reckon you should be... How many, how many guards are there? Well... How many lanterns did we spot on that six roll on that six roll yeah you spotted uh it's quite higher six it is quite yeah. higher six you spotted um you spotted five lanterns sort of roughly evenly spaced and moving in patterns around mm -hmm. the train yard okay what i'd like you to do mumble mumbles yeah mumbles oh mum sorry my apologies it's okay i'd so like you very quietly so people miss it so it's fine oh, it's okay what I would like you to do is to study the guards, work out their patterns, okay? okay. And memorize their patrol routes. And hey, if there's if there's one or two that you think you could maybe take out, stay away from the dogs though. I think Kill the him. dogs Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Well, actually no, hold off. Hold off. Just just learn the attacks now for now all right the, learn the, the the patrol routes for now okay because we want to make some ghosts but not yet okay can do okay can do okay Alilis, why don't you make me a, a a study role for mumbles okay what, what's her study what do you reckon i reckon she's got one i don't think she could possibly have more than one dot in study yeah. Um, but no more than me. <laughs> but if you, but maybe you could help her. Maybe you could sort of uh, set her up with a, a crayon and a, and a piece of paper or, or something. So yeah, I give, to... I give her. Yeah, I've got some charcoal on me that I used to like, kind of for my studies, make quick sketches of places. Cool. Um, so I give her that. Um, so and... take one stress yourself, Lilith. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, stress. she can roll, and she can roll two two d six for okay. her study. Two and a six. A two and a six. Okay, great. It's going to take her a, a little while because obviously she has to wait for everyone to finish a complete route. But she diligently sort of sits down cross-legged on top of this shipping can you know container that you that you all started on, uh, and just starts sketching our routes. Nice work, Mumbles. Casimir, why don't we check in with you while Lilith continues to mull a ghostly option? Yes, please. Uh, I would like to prowl, uh, if I may over to the half-built train yard and specifically the carriages that are containing Leviathan Distillate. Okay, cool. Uh, yep, go for it. A three is my highest result, Luke. Okay, Johnny. That's, I mean, Casimir, that's, that's fine. That's fine. The important thing is, the imp it's not, it's not the adversity we face, it's how we rise to meet the challenge. Uh, cool. Uh, yes, you you drop down off of the um, the crate into a into a, a crouching position, leaning on your cane, forgetting that you've switched canes and the subtle nuances of muscle memory that you had associated with the previous one no longer apply. Uh, so as you crouch down, uh, like make your first jump off of that shipping container, you just stack it into another one and, and hit it with a loud clang and. Uh, you hear footsteps coming towards you uh, and from around the corner of this train carriage that you've blonged into uh, you can see a growing pool of light uh, as um, well I suppose as a guard come as a guard creeps near you are moments away from um, from them coming around the corner okay and um, I'm gonna start a clock what the hell oh no 
Because yeah. <laughs> nearly discovered is kind of a bad consequence, isn't it? Yes, I'd say so. Yeah, but nevertheless, let's make it six pieces and it is... It's just, it's a standard alarm is raised. Okay. Situation, and I'm going to fill in a piece. Great. Um, I would like to hide. Okay. Uh, do you want me to make another prowl roll? Yeah, I think so. A five. Okay, very nice. Five. Success with a complication. Yeah, um, you... Basically, the ca- the train carriage that you're in, uh, you're pressed up against it when all of a sudden you feel it give behind you uh, because you actually are pressed up against one of the one of the doorways. Uh, with a with a small hiss, uh, the door kind of tss, pneumatically just uh, sort of slides open, and you're able to just whoop, roll backwards inside a train carriage. You are not s- spotted, but um, from your crouched position inside the train carriage, you can see the light outside, and you can hear the footsteps of a guard uh, basically walking up and down the length of the carriage, trying to figure out. They're sure they heard something, mm-hmm. but um, but they they can't figure out what. I'm going to tick another piece of pie for the complication I am um, I look resentfully at my makeshift cane and mm. then kind of I realise it's not it's not the cane's fault that was sloppy <laughs> oh okay cool uh, alright at this point why don't we jump back to Lilith okay I would like to have a look out for some ghosts okay in the shipyard already so I'd like to kind of attune in yeah, and see what is here already, and if there's anything that we can use. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. Uh, go for it. Okay. Okay, it's a one and a six. One and a six. Well, forget that one. We Yee. take the six. <laughs> you get the. You feel a strong sort of spectral pull. Uh, it's as if there's a rope kind of tied around your waist that's just being sort of yanked in a particular direction. But yeah, although you don't actually get yacked off anywhere, but um, it's just, it's sort of indicating a direction. Metaphorical. The turntable just feels like something's up with there. Something, something uncanny. Hmm. If you were, if you could see a heat map, if you had sort of ghost vision, <laughs> if you were holding down L2. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, there, there would be a big the, glow. There's a glow, yeah, around the uh, a big like orangey glow, probably. Orangey glow, yeah. 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 Um, okay, I would like to sneak my way down to the turntable though, then, because I think there might be something up with how it runs. Okay, cool. Uh, as you head off, Mumbles is just going to give you a little tug on your um, on your coat. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lilith and says, "Should I come to you?" You know what? Yeah, you stick with me. Okay. She holds up, by the way, um, a her, her piece of paper which has colour coded routes for all five guards. You know, kind of moving in closed loops that mm-hmm. uh, that, when all put together, circle the entire train yard. The only one she doesn't have is one of the guards appears to have done some of their loop and then wander off on a bit of a tangent, and that makes you think, Lilith, that possibly um, Casimir is in okay. uh, a degree of trouble, but you do have these routes mapped out so that's going to make it a lot easier to avoid um, Mm -hmm. detection as you go yeah so make me that roll you're taking mumbles with you and Mm -hmm. we'll say you're doing this from a controlled position because you have the use of that diagram okay so does that mean I get an extra dice it doesn't mean you get an extra dice but um, it 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 modifies the potential bad consequences okay it makes the bad less bad okay so I'm sneaking down yeah um Finesse and Prowl are both one dot for me, so it's one, whichever one I choose to say. That's a six. <laughs> Very nice, yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. rolling really well Absolutely today, so. carrying the, the team. <laughs> yeah, you, um, you, you, you sort of kneel down into a, into, into a perfect crouch walk and just silently creep your way around, around the carriages and trucks whenever you see the pool of light of a lantern or hear the kind of uh, sort of like sniffing a, a, of a dog. You consult your little diagram and, and and are able to weave it exactly the other way. You have to ch- take quite a circuitous route um, around the place to get up close to the turntable, but you do manage it with um, with with mumbles with mumbles in tow. Uh, when you get up there, 
being in the middle of the of the train yard, this thing is ex itself quite exposed. But uh, around the edge of the turntable, if you like, you there is a gap that leads down into the into the inner workings, I suppose, kind of mm -hmm. maintenance a maintenance route. Yeah, I want to get in that gap. Cool. I want to get in and under. Cool. No need to roll for that. You can you you and Mumbles just sort of slide slide down in there maybe um maybe she goes on your shoulders just as you, as you like duck down in there uh, at this point casimir trapped in the carriage with the, the guard outside patrolling up and down kind of confused. yeah i'm gonna gamble on this um luke i'm going to tick an item from my character list ace this item is fine cover identity oh okay and what I want to do is kind of with a silent prayer to who even knows, um, just be like, here we go. I want to produce a pocket watch and just stare at it and absentmindedly with my cane just go bong on the wall and then resume just sort of standing there and wait for the guard to come to me. Yeah, uh, well, you don't have to wait very long. Um, you hear a sort of gasp outside uh, and um, you hear a truncheon banging on the side of the, of the carriage and, who, who, who's there and the door sort of swings open the lantern comes in and a guard walks in Casimir they are holding a small sort of hand crossbow okay. kind of miniature crossbow uh, they see you and point it at you who are you 13 minutes I'm sorry what 13 minutes. 13 minutes and 12 seconds to be precise. I've been in this train yard. That's how long it took you to find me. That is unacceptable. I, uh, uh, I, I, I... Save it. I reach into my coat and I pull out. I want to pull out sort of an official looking badge. Be like, I'm an official safety consultant here, appointed by the council of six to see how... Uh, the, uh, the security was faring up at the construction of the Gaddock Station train yard. And uh, suffice it to say, thus far, it is found to be lacking. This is a very important station. And uh, I think you know as well as I do, that there are going to be people out there, Deathland stalkers and worse, trying to get into the fair city of Olisport and cause all sorts of mischief. Yes. And I happen to notice that you have some uh, flammables here as well as, no doubt, some highly sensitive uh, materials and, need I remind you, part of uh, the vital infrastructure of the entire city. This train yard, even though it's unoperational right now, needs to be better guarded. Well, it weren't my fault. Was it not? N well, no, I I didn't set the route. It's, it's, it's Derek sets the route, so I, I just... I, 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 was keeping, I was keeping time. Uh, look, um, look. The thing is, it, look, sir, I've I've a family. Uh, he, um, as as he sort of starts to stutter, he, um, have you handed him these credentials? Uh, uh no, I think it was sort of a flip and like a. Okay. Do you know who I am, and then okay. like a. Okay. Okay. Um, you marked off a box of load for this. I feel like it it's, needs a roll. It's actually in italics, so it's not a. That's not a box of load. Oh, sorry, right. Okay. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I'm happy to make a roll. Should I do yeah. like a consort to kind of try and tie like, the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're trying, yeah. I'm going to push myself. Cool. So, Two stress. Yeah, that puts me on five. All right, yum, yum, of yum. Of nine. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, oh. drama. Okay, one of these dice is cocked. Okay. It came out as a one, but luckily there's a five in the mix. Terrific, yeah. Um, okay. <sighs> right, look, look, sorry, it, it weren't my... Do you say you were from the Council of Six? I. Well, I, 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 I... We mostly only been dealing with, with the Ive. You notice at this point, Casimir, that on his um, sort of lapel, uh, there is stitched the icon of a, of a little, little bee... And you recognise it as the symbol uh, of um, the hive, which is an imperially recognised merchant guild 
uh, and that's in big air quotes, with many legitimate businesses and contracts, which tend to be cover for their more profitable trade in contraband and smuggling. But they're the closest thing that Volusport has to a sort of uh, official merchant's guild. Um, so this man would be one of their hired enforcers, a hive enforcer. And a very fine job they're doing, I am sure, but nonetheless the Council of Six has the right, and some might say the prerogative, to make affairs like this their bees nest. <laughs> bees nest. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. I, like that, I like that. Bees nest. I'm gonna. I'm gonna use that. Excellent. <laughs> right. Well, I, so, sir, I, I, I know you're about to give me a bollocking, and look, sounds like I deserve it. But I'm, filing, I'm filing that one away. <laughs> That's quite all right, mate. That's yours. You can use that bees free nest. of free of charge. It does sound no. a lot like business. It, it, it. That, that indeed was uh, was Jesus. the joke. Yeah. Now listen, you've apprehended the uh, the intruder, which, even though the time is not great, is uh, an important step to uh, proving your worth as a as a guarding force and uh, preventing any sanctions from the Council of Six. Uh, sanctions. Well, just potentially. Right. Like I say, I've, this is I've an avoided inspection. them because yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. I, uh, I'm talking about. The hive here, not you personally. All right. Right. If right. anything, if anything, you're doing the best out of all the guards here. Yeah. Yes. I mean, you were the one who found me. As whereas the other, what, three, four? Oh, uh, tonight there's uh, four others on. Yeah. Right. Right. I mean, they found nothing. No, I suppose I was the the fastest one. Uh, you, you might right? say, sir, that I certainly know my beesness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good. I shall file that one, my friend. I shall file that one away. Uh, I was wondering now that now that my cover's blown, as it were, if you might not aid me in my um, just my inspection of uh, of of the train yard, sort of what's being kept here, whether there are any signs of tempering, that sort of thing. All routine, you understand. Well, but, I, uh, I why don't I round up the others, bring them all, bring them all to you. You can. Um, and, and we we can go through all of the. You can say to them what you just said to me. Oh, I'm sure that won't be necessary. Without tipping my hand, uh, and it is vitally important. I'm taking you into my confidence now that you do not communicate this to any of the others. But their portion of the test, shall we say, is ongoing. Oh, oh right. Okay. I'm not directly saying that I am. Uh, I was accompanied here this evening. However, we cannot rule oh. that out as a possibility. Oh. It's like a game. How marvellous. Oh, all right, well, um, what would you like to see first? Those tanks over there. They look flammable. What is that? Oh, uh, well, I, I, I'm just a guard. I don't rightly know, but um, I imagine it be be uh, Leviathan Distillate. Let's go take a look. All right. Yep. No, you, you, you're good. Carry on. You are going to head over there, and no need to roll for it, because you now have... You are now being escorted. Um, let's cut to... Lilith and Mumbles. Okay, I would like to have a look around at the mechanisms and try and, you know, have see if there's anything spooky going on. Basically, have okay. a close-up look. Okay, cool. Um, yep. Um, yep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna st study, study. Nice. Study the area. Okay, so that is a two and a four, a four, a four. So what are you specifically uh, looking for again? Is it is it specifically ghost ghostly things? Was it um, still or just just a general assessment of the? Um, what's going on? Well, like yeah, I, there is there is a big ghosty vibe here, and yes, I want right. to find out what is causing it. And the just like, bit. okay, yeah. so um, as you look around, you are now in the inner workings of this large uh, turntable. You're kind of stood on the edge of the underneath of it. In front of you is a is a big metal. Uh, like column on which it is supported uh, and there are more metal columns around the edge there are um, a lot of uh, gears kind of around the uh, around the edge of the circle and beneath you as well you can see the enormous workings basically that that make it turn uh, like a large metal rod coming in from from the side that's on on a cog up this way and then there's a cog up this way and the teeth mesh and and that makes the turntable turn basically and it is from the joining of those two cogs the point where they mesh that you are getting the strongest uh, ghostly reading hmm. and I tell you what 
that's where you're getting the strongest ghostly reading from. Uh, in fact, as you look at these cogs that are meshed, visible only to you, because you are attuning to this stuff, you see a hand, a kind of mangled up hand, kind of pop out from between the two gears, and then kind of pull up a, like, a little face out of the cogs, and it goes... <laughs> in a way that is very loud to you, Lilith, but um, less loud to everyone else, but nevertheless. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know that sound by now. Yeah, we filled, we filled in a piece on the, the alarm is raised. There's a ghost screaming to okay. everyone else. To everyone else, it's the sound is odd. It, the, okay, there is a ghost trapped in there. Okay, I would like to compel the ghost. Um, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab. I've got a spirit bottle. I've got some spirit bottles. I'm gonna grab a spirit bottle, and I would like to try and compel the ghost into the spirit bottle and be like, "This is your escape." Like that's how okay. I'm wording it because it looks like yeah. it is in much pain and it's trapped there by the gears. Cool. All right. Yep. Maybe that roll. Okay. The tune roll. Oh. Sounds important. Yeah. Two sixes. <laughs> Two sixes. That's a crit. 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 Oh. Yeah. Yes. A critical. I'm really liking my dice today. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my wow. god. <laughs> Come through, Lilith's dice. So you you offer this this jar, um, to, which to the ghost doesn't really look like anything but with a sort of focused effort of attunement you just convey a sense of calm and the idea of release and safety uh, to this ghost and it stops its screaming and just seems to like whoop, just pop loose of the, the gears that it was trapped in and just drift silently and effortlessly uh, into this jar and <laughs> not only yeah, funk, not only have you now trapped it but you attune so well with it that while it's in the jar you can still speak with it if I'm you like, wish okay um I'm like hi w what is your name thank you that's that's okay i well, i'm so sorry that must have been very painful it was awful it's, thank it's, you is that how you passed? How oh, I passed? Oh yes, absolutely. So you you were stuck there. Is there anyone else like that in these buildings? Oh, um, industrial accidents, you mean? Yeah. Oh well, um, I dare say, uh, I, I wouldn't know. Um, I mean, before I I was killed myself, I, I had heard that there was a mishap at the crane, and uh, rumours of something in the train shed as well, but. Uh, uh, only rumours I couldn't confirm. The only thing I can confirm for sure is that I died here painfully in a workplace-related incident. Uh, should maybe talk to someone about that, see if you can get some... Uh, <laughs> get something back from the council for that. I would dearly love that, but unfortunately <laughs> it's hard to do that when you're a spirit trapped in the gears in which you were ground up in life. Okay. Well, able only to scream. What? Till you came along. I well, now that you. I've got you, where? Oh, thank you. Well, you know, now that I've got you, what would you, what would you like to do? Would you like to perhaps have some revenge on this place? I would like that very, very much. Okay. Well, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna tuck you away safely. Thank you. But I will have a job for you later, and hopefully you'll, you know, you'll get some closure for it. It's so comfy and smooth in here, thank you. That's all right, I do try and polish them as well as I can. I can tell. So, yeah, yeah, I want to make people, I want to make sure you're always comfortable in there, you know. It's not, it's not nice if there's a bit of grime on the inside. Oh, I can barely smell the last ghost who was in here. Oh, amazing, it's good. Good, good. All right, I took him. Sorry, what was your name again? You never said. Oh, uh, Timothy. Timothy. Okay, Timothy. I'm gonna tuck you away and keep you safe. All right, and then yep. I'll call on you later. Yep. No worries. Timothy is tucked away. Yeah. Uh, at this point, Casimir, why don't we jump back to you? Sure. 
I would very much like uh, the moment the guy turns around to start showing me to the um, to the the Leviathan yep. Disler, uh introduce him to my old friend Slumber Essence. Slumber <laughs> Essence. <laughs> Specifically, I have one vial of Slumber Essence that I can use for free, which is just nice. But uh, I'm going to um, I'm going to tick off a box of load for a blade or two. And say that actually, what I've got is a very small, almost like a fruit knife, that's just c- absolutely coated in slumber essence. Okay. So that as he turns, I want to be like after you, mate, and then just like just nick his yep. wrist, and then just watch him. Glorious. Um, nice. I'm happy to prowl to. Sounds to, fair. To give him it's a, a sneak. It's a sneaky, sneaky. Oh, it's a six, is what it is. Yay! Excellent. Such great rolls today. Yeah, as he turns away, he goes, it's just down here, I'll, I'll lead you to it. And um, you, uh, as he reaches out his hand to pull the carriage door closed, you see your opportunity, Casimir, and just, just cut it. Um, he, oh, what'd you do that for? And, um, <laughs> donk, hits the I... deck. With no complicating loud noise, just hits the deck. Oh, excellent, okay. I was going to say, I'm like, I close my eyes and listen to the sweet music of somebody passing out. And oh yeah, the it's floor. still it still sounds great. It's it's a it's a soft crump. It's like a, it's like snow falling off a bow into more snow. Great. Yes. Is this guy in a particular uniform? Well, I suppose you've only seen this one guard, so you can't really tell. But it looks quite uniformy. Okay. Um, mostly the top, which has the embroidered B. Yeah, uh, I should very much like to pop that on, pop on his hat if he's yeah. got one, and take his lantern. Yeah, we're still riding off that six, so no need to roll for that. You, um, okay. what are you doing with the, uh, what are you doing with the shirtless, hatless? I suppose I should body? stash him in a carriage. Okay, yeah, that's fine. You could stash okay. him in the carriage. Okay. You would, you would, you'd just buy if you like. Okie dokie. Yeah. Cool. Now about making a, a, a slow but eventually catastrophically dangerous Leviathan distillate leak, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice, 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 nice. <laughs> You're heading over. I suppose. Are we back to sneaking? How are you? How are you doing this? Are you strolling over to the tanks? Yeah, I'm now walking as if I'm a guard walking a route. Mm, no, that, I think that's fine. Yeah, you yeah? you, you okay. stroll on over to the uh, to the to the distillate tanks, and you are now in front of them. They are great. Big. I would very much like to. Um, if there is is there a valve or something on there? For sure. How else do they get the distillate in? Well, quite. Let's just. It's on Tick the top. Off. I will say that it's on the top of this like large cylindrical thing. It's yeah, kind of like a, feared like as a, much. A, a funnel. Okay, that's fine. How? Okay, is there a ladder up there at all, or anything? Yeah, there's a ladder on the side of the uh, on the the side of okay. the tanker. Okay, I'm going to tick another box of load to produce some tinkering tools. Hmm. Okay. Um. Because what I would like to do is open the valve so it starts to leak. And then break the valve so it doesn't stop leak. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Great. Cool. Make me a uh, make me a tinker roll for that. Or well, I mean, you name the roll, but <sighs> it's if you're using tinker as tools, then. Yeah. Then it probably would be tinker, wouldn't it? I mean, okay. uh, or, or arguably finesse. Uh, it's up to you. Fin- I do. I mean, I do have a dot in finesse, so obviously I would like to use finesse because this is fine manipulation. Yeah. Sounds yeah, fine okay. to me. All right. I'm, I'm persuaded. Go. May I have a devil's bargain, please? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you may. Um, let's see. What shall we do? Um, let's say that you can add an extra dice to this, but um, for sure your tinkerer's tools are going to fall into the tank which means not only will you lose them, so minus your tinkerer's tools, Yep. there's the chance, and I'll do this on a fortune roll myself, there's a chance, a one, two, or three on the fortune roll, if this comes off, that uh, the gang takes plus one heat because th- when forensics get to this ultimate explosion, they will find uh, these distinctive tinkerer's tools and know it was sabotage. We have an accord. Cool. 2d6. Yep. 
a four. A four. Fantastic. Okay. Um, yeah, you whip out those Tinkerer's tools. You open the, the this valve at the top. It's a good job you brought the Tinkerer's tools because um, to get into it, it's one of those... You know on electronics you get those, like a special kind of screw thing it's like a pent- yeah. pentagonal yeah uh, sort, sort of thing uh, you need a spudger and uh, and like s- specific equipment to get into this it's non-standard but the tinkerous tools include that so yeah you you work your way in you create this leak um distillate starts just sort of slowly streaming in a, in a small trickle down the side of the tanker uh with a kind of hissing noise uh, it's dark but you can see in what moonlight there is that it's that it's dark red and and looks very gothic and freaky and then you use your tinkerer's tools to just break the thing so that um so it doesn't work but as you do it your tinkerer's tools slip inside the hole that you're trying to seal up maybe your hands are all oily and yeah you 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 hear a a faint splash and then a moment later a as as your kind of wrap of tools just kind of hit the bottom of this um thing um i'll tell you what seeing as you did what you wanted let's make that so one two or three one plus heat for the gang Four, five, or six. No extra heat. So three plus one. Heat. Okay. Cool. Well, sorry. I mean, my other die on that roll was a three, so I'm still quite happy with that devil's bargain. <laughs> cool. Good. Good stuff. Yeah, that works. You've you've set this you set this uh, you set this trickle going. Tremendous. It's not going to stop. I pause for a moment to think how glad I am that that shirtless man I dumped in the carriage is in a fireproof carriage, so that. If he's never mentioned again for the rest of the session, at least we don't have to worry about him burning to death. Just on the yeah. off chance. Flashback. Sure. <laughs> I fireproof the carriage, yeah. Yeah. knowing what I'm about to do. You don't need to take any stress for that, Casimir. Wonderful. It's, 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 it's kindness. Yeah, good. Cool. <laughs> Before we get any more meta... Um, why don't we jump back to... Actually, no, Casimir, let's stay with you for a moment, because just where are you Where are you heading next? What's the next stage? Which way is the trickle spreading? Is it sort of going toward the back of the, the shed? Is it sort of back toward the um, the carousel? Um, it is... He- it is trickling down um, towards the half-finished train shed. Okay. Then... I should very much like to um, to go over to the train shed, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop the lantern on the floor and just open its little door. Very nice. I'm going to um, pop it like sort of mid, like right in the middle of the train shed. Okay. So, uh, just we've just got some time to encompass. Obviously, like you wouldn't normally have to roll for just putting a lantern on the floor, but just make me a roll that encompasses the getting over there and and everything else. Um, I'm going to prowl this. Yeah, because, I mean you you are yeah. back. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. There are still a lot of guards around, and you don't have the crayon drawing. I don't. <laughs> it was a six, and then it hit my pencil and rolled onto a five. Oh dear! Oh, boo. Okay. All right. Tell you what. Yeah, you make it. Uh, you make it over um, undetected, so you don't even have to uh, find out whether or not your disguise would hold up. Um, against this uh, against, against this gang, and you make it into the half-finished uh, train shed. You are stood in one of the many arches that where the trains go to bed uh, when they're tucked up for the night. Uh, there's no train in your one. Actually, screw it. I want a train. There is a there's a Yay! great big brilliant old steam train in your one. It's Ooh. gorgeous, and it is easy enough for you to put the lantern on the floor, just pop it on its side, leave the thing open, and just stroll away. As you are strolling away, you faintly hear some voices carrying from the next room, uh, and they sound, um, not to put too fine a point on it, quite a lot posher than the other voices that you've heard so far. It sounds a little bit like the sound of drunken revelry. <laughs> of course, it never. Of course, it never. It never, it never Next time I saw next time I saw him he didn't know where to look. <laughs> so if I do nothing, we're looking at the death of some very posh and possibly influ- influential people on my hands. Is that the vibe we're getting? That's the vibe we're getting. Yes. <laughs> I go I wanna move the lantern back a a dozen foot to give myself a little bit more time. Sure, okay. But uh, uh I'm gonna go investigate 
the sound of the voices. Sounds good. Um, I'm going to start another clock, which is the countdown to explosion. Um, the tr- this 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 marks the trickles route yep. towards towards the shed. It's a four piece clock, Ooh. and I'm filling in a quarter. Ooh. Yeah, because they're not very far away in my mind. Anyway, yeah. So you're going to investigate. Um, no need to roll for this. Uh, you you slip through a door in the in the train shed into the into the next compartment, and it's very long because this is again where the trains go to sleep. There's no train in this one, but there's a there's a table set up down the end of this long sort of uh, tunnel that you are that you are stood part way down, and you can see uh, three posh looking old folks they've got you know we're talking powdered wigs and and and, and stuff they a, a bit sort of judgy and they are all dressed in very fine and fancy breeches but all a different shade of yellow which is kind of the trademark of of the hive and as you just stare and watch them for a bit you you get the impression that these are probably some of the uh some of the gaffers, some of the um, some of the hive members, who perhaps showed up earlier today to do an inspection and make sure that um, construction was proceeding apace, and then, well, what's this? One of them happens to have a bottle of port on them. It would be rude not to. I'm not too keen to get home to the wife myself, so why not? Why not a glass or two? It's one of those situations, and they're having a little, they're having a little bit of a piss up. <sighs> Do I just leave them to die? <laughs> <laughs> okay, how am I going to clear this lot out? Okay. At this point, Lilith. Well, Lilith actually wants to go to the train shed because Timothy mentioned that there was an accident there. So Timothy she wants did. to try and round up some more ghosts. Yep. And it's easier for her to get to the train shed from there rather than going all the way up the crane. Mm-hmm. Uh, so she, she heads towards... Uh, the crane shed sneaking along with a little map with uh, with mumbles alongside yeah um, I tell you what you're going there to look for one more ghost right mm-hmm. um, so make me make me a roll that encompasses both the getting there for which you have mumbles and the crayon drawing so you're mm-hmm. not in too much danger there and the scanning for ghost and location okay well uh, shall I roll with two dice then for that tune it feels like it's probably yeah, yeah. yeah. Case okay. made, yeah. Okay, two and a five. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> you know what? Actually, something very similar happens. Um, you you manage to sneak on up to the to the train shed. You also, Lilith. So the geography of, of this is uh, imagine three tunnels in a row. Uh, the rightmost tunnel, as you're facing the front of this construction, is where Casimir first came in. The middle tunnel contains the hive senior, um, you know, members of, members of the guild having a, a little bit of a piss up. And then on the leftmost, that's the one that that you that you come into. So okay. Casimir, you're currently in the middle one, and Lilith, you're currently in the in the one on the left and um, uh, as you get into this one yours has a train in it as well it's another great big beautiful train uh, shiny and new never been used and um, from the I don't know what I only know the word cow catcher for this uh, you know the yeah point the cow catcher yeah, yeah, yeah. the cow catcher the cow, the, the, the cow catcher on the um, that feels like either an Americanism or a Britishism but I don't know which but it's the, <laughs> it's the, for anyone who doesn't you know it's the this the, bit, the, the pointy bit, bit the, the grill it's the, the bit that catches bust. cows yeah the bovine buster yeah it pushes them out the way off the track yeah exactly so. on the, the cow catcher on the, on the front of this one um, <laughs> actually just something very similar happens to uh so last time, Lilith, you, you, you crouch walk into the train shed and from the cow catcher on the front of this train, there's a... Oh another God. ghost. <laughs> okay. And I'm, I'm going like... to fill in another... You're now four out of six on Alarm is Raised because you can hear the revelry in the next mm. tunnel. Briefly pause. You, uh, you hear something. And they go back to party. Okay, I would like to compel this ghost into All my right. other spirit bottle, if possible. All right. All right. Next ghost. <laughs> Collecting ghosts. That was a fine meal. Let's have you're, a... You're not, you're not going to believe me, but it's another two sixes. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Tremendous. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, okay. 
Um, the 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 sort of crunched up ghost uh, of a of a of a woman in overalls um, okay. sort of drifts out. And at first, she looks like she's in agony, but then as your lilting reassurance again, she just sort of straightens up and just ooh, softly drifts over ooh, into the bottle. And again, you can talk to this ghost as well, even though it is trapped in a bottle. And it says to you, thank you so much. Oh, that, that's absolutely fine. I'm so sorry. What happened to you? Well, they were running the first test of the train. And, um, uh, and well, the thing got a little out of control. They put a bit too much uh, stoking behind it. And, well, it, it ran me over. I got run over by the train and all mangled up in the cow catcher. Um, oh, of course, next thing I know, I'm trapped as a spirit mangled up inside that cow catcher they covered it all up so the spirit wardens never came to get my body and well that that that's been me really ever since gosh how long ago was that well that was a uh, oh gosh well it's hard to keep track of time you know when you're trapped in a shed and you're screaming in pain in the in the front of a train very true but, but i would i guess i would estimate oh it's been at least a few weeks okay um what, what what's sorry what's your name marge Let me get your name marge okay marge well, I've got another friend. I've made another friend here who's, oh, who's is that? also... Hello. Hi, this is this is Timothy. Hello. Yep. Timothy, this is Marge. Hello. Um, yes. I, you, I... You've, you've both been um, through a lot it's recently. It's nice to meet you. Uh, nice you too. And uh, basically, um, Marge, T- Timothy is very upset with the people here who have, who have, you know, let his spirit be trapped here. And well, he's not the I... only one. Yeah, I think you you both have every right to be angry, and I I would like to help you sort of settle a score if you, if you would like to do that. Yes, please. Okay, excellent, excellent. I would like I I, I pop them away. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna tuck you away. Just just you know, breathe easy for now, but know that you know you're gonna you're gonna have a little bit of revenge. I I and have an idea. <gasps> What's that? Let me know, Marge. Well, um, once you cross over to the other side, um, you learn a little bit more about why exactly they're so keen to do away with spirits in this, uh, in, in Volus Ports. And, um, well, now, now that I am a ghost, I, I do, you know, feel a little bit of what I, I suppose you might call, uh, trem- tremendous destructive power. Um, right. Uh, the, the thing is that, um, being caught between the planes, as it were, mm-hmm. uh, I, I have... Well, if I really exert myself, I can cause a, a larger tear in the fabric of reality and, um, well, let through some really old ancient ghosts. It's a little hard to do by myself, but I, I think with, uh, with Timothy, was it? Yes, yes, Timothy, it was, yes. I, I think with, it's nice to meet you, by the way. Is there, um, you, you're, um, you, you're so polite and nice. Oh, thank you, just, uh, uh, just how I was raised. <laughs> They're getting on famous. Um, <laughs> I... I would be happy to. Um, I'd be happy to assist you. Uh, uh, I, I know what you mean. I, I reckon between us, with our with our with our our, uh, our spectral forces combined, if you like, we could create a, a sizable tear and let something through. Okay. Um, you two, that that sounds absolutely brilliant. I love the ideas that we're spitballing here, and you know what? I think Marge, yeah, we have we have landed on one. Uh, see, yeah. Uh, the, these people basically they need to pay. I, I was just having a little look around here just because I've, you know, sent some ghosty things and I found some seriously criminal negligence when it comes to not only their living staff, but also the the spirit staff. You know, you you guys should have been helped by the spirit wardens. You should be Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. Um, well, uh, where do you want to do it? Do you want to do it right here? Um, well, I can hear some kind of revelry. So I I would like to um, have a little bit of a peek, if I can, into the, the other tunnel and kind of try and gauge what's happening. Yeah, um, Casimir, to your immense surprise, opposite from you, uh, you see another metal metal door um, on the other side which would just go it's very hard to detect and you just see a little hooded 
we could point out, and you recognise it's Lilith, and you 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 meet eyes, you make eye contact across the uh, across okay. the length of this this large corridor. Where where are the 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 poshos in <laughs> relation to where we are? They are down. Uh, they are down the end of this um, particular uh, train carriage, there, not so the train carriage. Sorry, down the end of this brick corridor for, the, for all intents and purposes. Right. Lilith, from your point of view they are on your left. Casimir, from your point of view, they are down on your right. Okay, okay. And so I kind of like signal to Casimir. Next tunnel over. Next tunnel over. Good job Casimir knows you quite well because he does interpret those signals as mm-hmm. next tunnel over. <laughs> I start making my way. Yep. Um, I, no need to roll for this, uh, Casimir. You're, okay. you're sneaky enough, and they're the, th- the three people at the end of the tunnel are distracted enough. Two of them are facing away from you, and the other one is, is doing some sort of impression. So, it, <laughs> yeah, you're, they're distracted. Okay. Cool. Right. Casimir. Good news. Um, I found us some help, uh, and I produced the two spare bottles. I'm like, this one's Timothy. And this one is Marge. Hello. Both, both of them. Uh, ever, this is this is Casimir. You won't be able to talk to each other, but j- just just know that I'll 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 translate. Don't worry. Marge here, uh, sadly died due to the negligence of the workers uh, running a train into her. And Hello. Timothy, the Timothy, jar pipes oh, up. yeah, the little there. And and Timothy here. Um, Hello. Uh, he he got crushed by the, the mechanisms of the turntable. Oh dear! Uh, so and they've both been kind of trapped there because they didn't let the spirit wardens get them. Mm. So they've been in agony for a while. Probably in need of some revenge then. Yeah, Marge has mm. got a fantastic idea. See, she's been able to tap into you know the um, spirit world and maybe can open a larger tear. Mm. And bring some more spirits this way. This is so perfect. Great, great. What what have you been up to? Because I think you know, if we time it just right with some, well, I I have a feeling you've been up to something. Because well, now you mention it, the the uh, the whole place is going to go up in flames in in a couple of minutes. Okay. All right. Okay. And, um, so yeah, then there's going to be an almighty explosion, huge. Well, I think mm. what would be quite good. Yeah. Is if we start a little tear, yep. some spirits start leaking in, yep, people yep. start panicking, yep. and then the explosion happens, Perfect. because then it looks like the explosion is because of the angry spirits. That's Yeah, um, sooner rather than later, I think. Okay. Um, we are in considerable danger, as I'd, as I'd put it. Okay. The, just for the time this conversation's taken, just filling in another... <clears throat> yep, yep, All right, yep, yep, yep. okay, On so the... I... Distillate trickle. Okay, so I pop down the uh, two spirits, two spirit jars. Okay. And I'm like, okay, Timothy, Marge, uh, it's your time to shine. If you give us like five minutes, yes, so that we can we can leg it out of here. But sure. you know what? This is this is time for you to shine. Okay, this is time for you to get your own back. It's up to you. Just feel free to haunt the heck out of this place. All right. Yes. Okay. Right. Well, I mean, I, I, I think to be honest, if we've, if we've done you this, uh, if, if we can pull this off and do this favour, I, th- I think, um, I think I might just, uh, well, I, I, Tim- Timothy, I've, uh, in life, I never really got to see much of the world, you know, being as I was, um, uh, a, a labourer and, and without much means. But, um, you know, now that, now that there's nothing stopping us, how would you like to, just roam, roam around, see some things we never saw, taking oh. the sights together. Okay, I would like to say that I ship this, and when I mean it, I mean that literally. In that, I'm after this going to uh, try and ask around and see if I can uh, get them on a ship somewhere to go and see somewhere else. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yeah. Lovely. Lovely. Okay. So we're putting the uh, we're putting the two jars down. Yeah. And the plan is to: Are you going to like wait and see what happens and then leg it? Are you going to leg it and just sort of trust that something kicks off? Um, I'm going to let them out of the jars and be mm-hmm. like, okay, this is the plan, blah, 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 blah. Let, let them out the jars. Say, like, thank you in sort of in person, seeing them as their full selves. Sure. Um, uh, wish them luck and then 
help Casimir leg it out of here uh, with his slightly rubbish cane, which I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm feeling. I've, I've got. I've got an added respect for him, the fact that he's having to just use a wooden cane and is still doing pretty damn well on this mission. So. He's, he's absolutely, yeah, he's doing great. Yeah. Cool, that sounds good. Mumbles, by the way, is still there. She's just kind of like at your side. She's actually like tapping one of the glass, one of the jars. Just oh, like, oh, don't do, don't do that because that's, that's it's it's okay. Like, you'll I'm be able sorry. to meet them and say, it's okay, it's okay. You're curious. It's all good. Don't worry. So um, but we're going to, yeah, these, these ghosties are going to help us. And uh, like this whole time, she's just been like quietly on my shoulders, like with her arms around me, okay. <laughs> just like soaking it all in. And I'm like, okay, so yeah, don't worry. Like we'll we're gonna see what we'll do is we'll let these people out, let these ghosties out, and then we're gonna see something really cool happen. But we've got to go over there. Okay, it's like fireworks, you know. Yep. All right. So the jars are the jars are placed down. Uh, the Marge and Timothy, with the, you know, with the lid mm-hmm. screwed off these jars, they They're both like, sort of emerge boom, and, boom. and oh, oh, gosh, they sort of like stretch out, very much enjoying the uncrunched up nature of their, mm-hmm. um, their sort of spectral form. Well, um, af- after you, I should say, ma'am. Um, yes. Well, thank you. And they both just sort of grip like you were holding the edge of a, a door frame, um, but they appear to be gripping nothing then just as they pull together and sort of exert themselves Lilith visible only to you at first there's just a thin it's like a hairline at first but it just starts to widen just like a tear like they're pulling like they're pulling back a piece of wallpaper that's yeah yeah like like that make me you're in charge of the ghosts make me a roll for this for what happens here I have to say they've got such lovely banners they really (laughs) are they're so polite Polite ghosts. <laughs> hey! Polite ghosts. Uh, um, this isn't for that, Casimir, but I am filling in another piece. Of <laughs> you take level three half. <laughs> you are killed. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here's the attune roll. Okay. It's a two and a five. A two and a five. Okay. Cool. Let's go big. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so they they start to start to pull like this suddenly the ground sort of seems to shake beneath you you both hear the the revelry in the next carriage stop and actually everything seems to slow down um marge looks over her shoulder and says like if you were going to go now's the time because out of this tear that they've made noses the spectral form of a huge lizard covered in covered in spikes uh it it its eyes are are glowing and it kind of starts to claw its way out of this first one leg then another 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 it's an eight legged uh large reptilian horror crawls its way out of it cool (laughs) none of you can't you can't believe what you're seeing this looks like the ghostly form of something that has not been seen in Geth for a very, very, very long time. And I'll fast forward Lilith later to the bit where you look this up in the library and find an illustration of something called a basilisk uh, that looks a little bit like like oh. this. You only glimpse it briefly, however, because presumably you are cheesing it. Che- Ooh, cheesing yeah. it. Cheesing it. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's getting so cheesed. All right, this feels like you, you mentioned helping Casimir, so why don't we make this a group action to just get out. Just mm-hmm. get out. Sounds good. Cool. Yeah. What are we rolling? Finesse. We s- yeah. If you don't mind, Lilith, potentially yeah. taking more stress, Mumbles is going to roll. Yes. For this okay. Well. I rolled a four. You're lovely. I also rolled a four. And Mumbles rolled a five. Yes, wow, Mumbles. <laughs> yes, Mumbles. She leads the way, kind of scampering scampering through. She's got that crayon drawing memorized. At this point, those those lantern lights that you can see in the guards and the dog, all the dogs start barking um, <laughs> at something. And yeah. it starts off as a bark, but then it's quickly like... Rawr, 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 uh, like that, and a sort of desperate struggle to, to get away mm. and get essentially out the way you came in up onto that um that container and from there you all holding hands jump over the fence as behind you there is a huge explosion and a real (laughs) freaky roar 
I'd take a box of load to produce a fine bottle of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Um, dunk. Yeah, and you slow mo jump away from that explosion. Um, Mumbles is just bouncing up and down in in the wake of it. She's she's so excited. It went bang. It was a big. It was so fiery. Yeah. And, and I saw a monster. And I yeah. saw a ghost. And it yeah, was the was. best day ever. Even though I didn't only stab one person. And that is probably going to do it for the score. Congratulations. Hey. I would say that you left that train yard both destroyed and permanently cursed <laughs> by something <laughs> by, by something so horrible that nobody will dare approach it for a very long time. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. Yay! Very pleased with that. Cool. <laughs> ah, I um, think, yeah, it's weird sort of leaving the place. Like, Casimir is just kind of sneaking the odd glance at Lilith being like, wow, that was... I underestimated how scary you can be. <laughs> that was some unbelievable ghost ghostliness. Well done. Well done. Uh, very, very um, quickly, um, I just want to do some entanglements, which we've, which we've not done before. Yes, please. This is basically to determine how much heat you took from this. Uh, we roll dice equal to your wanted level, which is still zero, because you haven't currently got enough heat to go up to there. So wait, so wouldn't that be roll zero dice? Yeah, we just we just skip that, so our, our heat's not increasing thanks to our wanted status. Yes, that's right. Um, however, after a score or conflict with an opponent, the crew takes heat, add one heat for a high-profile or well-connected target. So I will add one heat for that, because you tangled with the hive this time. If the situation happened on hostile turf, no, you weren't already hostile with the hive, so okay. I'm interpret that as a no. And plus one heat if you were at war. You are not at war. Add plus two heat if killing was involved. Just about no. You managed to get that out of there without... <laughs> I think you just about gave enough, everyone enough opportunity to cheese it. So I'm going to say you just took one heat for this. Okay, cool. And that's because your wanted level is so low. But if your heat ticks up uh, increasing your wanted level, then basically heat is going to start increasing exponentially. So it's something to be aware of uh, and we mm -hmm. did increase heat as well when um when casimir uh dropped his tinker's tools cool does anyone want to do any healing stress relief or long term actions and if i could suggest one actually um i was thinking about this it might not be a bad idea as a long-term project to um invest in making connections with a better uh healer healer or physica because um that would improve your healing roles when you do do them for the whole group yeah, good idea. Mm -hmm. I've already got a long-term project on the go. Um, oh yes, Casimir's cane. Mm. What's the deal with that? Do we know um, what that cane is going to look like yet? Not yet. I'm okay. still I'm still having conversations with okay. Edvard okay. when he's not adjusting his mechanical man. Um, we're sort of talking about different directions we could take the new cane in to give it that real Lumiere flair. Okay, very nice. Um, mm. If you want, though, you can you can make a roll for it now, and we'll sort of average that into the general progress of that. I actually think I'm okay. Okay. Because I I kind of want to wait until Johnny knows what Casimir is doing. Okay. If that makes sense. That Could does I, make um, sense. Could I reduce some stress, though? Absolutely, yeah. Let's Great. do some indulging. So, yeah, because I did a surprising amount of jumping off things. You did. So I think... Ooh, that's not great. Uh, I rolled a two. Okay, so I'm that back down right. to three stress, which for me is positively yeah breezy. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I am gonna um, I am gonna work on the the new cane. Okay. To sort of just, I've been asked to come up with a few ideas for um, Edvard. Sounds so, good. Did we agree um, how many segments were in this clock before? Eight. Eight. Cool. So I've rolled a five. Okay, that fills two segments. Okay, great. Very nice. Cool. How about you, Lilith? Um, I would like to try and reduce heat for the team. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. First off, um, I basically, our friends, the, the gut cutters, um, mm. I'm going to ask them if they can spread rumours about some of our previous endeavours Okay. Um, and see if they can attach those to different crews rather than us. Cool. All right. That sounds good. Which crew are you pinning um, it on? Because if you reduce this heat, I'm going to say that could potentially decrease your rep with whoever that is. I'm going to say the gondoliers. Okay, yeah, all right. 
just because you, you're on good terms with the gondolier, so you can probably stand to. Um, yeah, basically, be... if someone's like, "Oh, people have been saying that we did it instead of you," I'm like, "What? You know? No. Oh, <laughs> never, oh. never. Horrible. Horrible. Okay, okay, it's cool. So I'm going to take you back to neutral uh, with the gondoliers. One. <laughs> One. Okay, you do, uh, you do um, erase one heat. Yay! So that, <laughs> you know, was not a total, total loss. Shall I? Shall I look for a doctor? You could yeah, start. Why don't we start a clock that anyone can work on in their downtime whenever yes. they, whenever they okay, fancy it? Okay. Yeah. So we all do a bit of research, and I'm going to add to that long-term project for everyone. Well, I'm going to make this a six-piece clock because what you're basically doing is finding. Uh, someone near to your base of operations who is willing to look the other way essentially at the point where this is done it'll it'll cost you a certain amount as well but but the, the clock is for kind of scoping them out finding someone who you think would be okay with repairing a criminal okay off the books a one a one okay. where have all my sixes gone <laughs> <laughs> that's all right trust me if you're gonna get them ones anywhere this is where you want to get them yeah <laughs> Okay, well, that'll do it, I think, for downtime. Wonderful work, both of you. That was terrific. You've brought the gut cutters very much on side. Uh, I think Bug will be very impressed, and Mumbles had a lovely time. Aww. And, awesome. you, and some ghosts fell in love, and you cursed a place. Yeah! yeah! You really packed it in. <laughs> in that hour well done terrific well uh, if you enjoyed this then check out more uh, Oxventure over on Outside Xbox there is a whole uh, Dungeons and Dragons series which let's be real you're probably already aware of but I mean <laughs> why not watch again or rewatch? maybe there's some new episodes you haven't checked out recently and do check back uh, next time should be in two weeks from whenever you're watching this for more Blades in the Dark thank you Ellen and Johnny oh, thank, thank you, you Luke. Luke bye bye, bye. 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 bye.